Hello, scrapbookers and creative friends. I'm Linda Patu, Creative Memories Independent Advisor in Jupiter, Florida. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. And today, I'm not too subtle, I know, but today I'm gonna talk about sunflowers. My favorite flower, to me, is the happiest flower on earth. And I wanted to share some creations that I made, both borders and pages. And I did use a little creative liberty. And some of the sunflowers look like real sunflowers. Some of them were actual sunflower embellishments, but others, uh, were creative, just colors and shapes that I had of different punches. Now, I will say that sunflowers are not just the standard uh, yellow. If you know sunflowers, they aren't just the standard colors. There are orange ones. There are fluffy teddy bear ones. There are just wonderful variety of sunflowers. So that made me feel even more comfortable taking a little uh, artistic license. So what I want to do too is I want to show you the... Um, first, I'm going to start by showing you this little... Um, the new... Uh, sunshine mandala six inch frame in case you haven't seen that before so let's do that first and then I will show you my creations I want to start with this uh, sunshine mandala circle to me this is one of the most beautiful designs that creative memories has come up with in a while I love these uh, specialty circle cutters too because um, it's very difficult to do cut things cut shapes into a circle so they do it all for you this is beautifully engineered so you have to start with a six inch square and then what you do is you use this use the guide here make sure that it's pushed in uh, to the top and to the side you punch one this only takes eight punches two you just keep turning it last one and now you want to use the straight edge as your guide so we're going to flip it over and we'll do the last four punches and when we start these punches we get these little squares which i'm going to share what i did with those get that one Come on, little square. Oh, it's there. Blending with the other color. And the last punch, you can see how easy this is. Beautifully engineered and designed for us to be able to create a perfect circle, but a beautiful design. And I do keep these. I do keep these. When you use some of the other frame punches, uh, you get a larger square. This is a, a smaller square, but you'll see I was able to use these and uh, actually mix the two. Now, I had mentioned last time that um, Becky Belot had shown a demonstration of using this to just make a straight border. And I did play with that a little bit. So I'm just gonna quickly show you, if you've done this before, please feel free to just move on ahead. But what, what I do is you find just to be Oh, I don't want the thick side. I want the thin side. You're going to be punching, but I'm going to start. Just find the middle of this paper. And to do this, we're going to turn the punch upside down. So what you do is you put it in here, and you find that, that middle section, and you want to put it up as far as you can get it into the punch. Do one here. Then I'm going to flip it over. No, I'm going to do it on this side. You can do whatever you wish, but I'm going to do it on this side. All right, now you can see that you can you can just barely see that it's just on the edge there. So we have this design here, and then I'm going to continue. flip it over. I do see that little funky line, but it's okay. You can take care of that. And here, you can cut that off or trim that off. And then if we want to add one more, this is not really even. I must have done something different the last time, but I would just say play with it and you'll get interesting designs to use we can just get rid of this. All right, so that's how you can use it to make a border um, if you wanna do that. Um, I also have cut these, let me get scissors. I've cut these off and this, you can also just use in the corner. Use it in the corner, you could do this on the side, put it on a larger piece of paper to make a border. <clears throat> but 
to me I love it like this and you'll see that um, I also have cut these in half and then you can make a border out of it that way as well so uh, now I want to just show you some of the creations that I came up with I'm going to start with borders today and um, I wanted to show you if you don't use these uh, sort what are they sort and stash um, folders these are great for putting your borders into to keep them safe um, whether they're borders you make or borders that you buy the laser cut borders they're really a great way to save them um, and keep them from getting dented this actually can fit into the power sort folders you can put them in there or you can put them into a binder so let's look at some borders here so this is what I was talking about how you can take that mandala and cut it this is cutting quarters and then I put it on um, on another this is the hot fudge cardstock and these embellishments were from sunflower fields sunflower fields that's what they were embellishments from that and that was actually an autumn collection but i kind of stuck with summery colors and that made to me worked perfectly so here's this one i had to get my little gnomes out again and if you got the gnome um, the package for the gnomes for all the seasons um, i use the summer hats um, and of course when i do this i do some gets hat some get hats some get beards so that you don't use it all on one border so now i have the extras left over for others and this was a, a laser cut border with a little embellishment this is an old um, sunburst punch that i've had forever and a leaf punch also that i've had for a long time and these are my when i was talking about stylized there are orange sunflowers but this was kind of a stylized one and then i used a smaller sunburst to make the center uh, this is totally tonal um, sticker strips and um, that's our so that's the border just divided in thirds now i want to talk about this because i decided i wanted to use this new um this is the new garland banner punch and i decided i wanted to use it um, not just as a colorful banner but i wanted to spell out um a title on here so that's what i did so this i would probably put at the top of a page and then have whether you whether this is um uh, your kids or grandkids playing out in the sun or if it's uh, butterflies or bees or if it's sunflowers that are following the sun that's what I would use uh, as a title for that page. Now here's some actual sunflower embellishments. They were on last chance for a while. I don't know if there are any available at this point, um, but this is that unbelievable um, border punch. And then I just added a couple of sticker strips. And now I also did some double. I did two of these so I could use them for a double page spread. This was another laser cut. This is a very old, it's not a CM punch, it's a very old punch I've had a long time because I have loved sunflowers forever. So I wanted to have this punch. So I put that uh, border here and then I just used a Creative Memories pen to put some dots to represent the seeds. Little strip of, um, another additional strip of paper. And, and when I do a simple border like this, I do like to add a different edge on it. So that's what I did here. And then here's our mandala circle and I cut it in half and I made three. I actually divided it into um, so that I had three with the orange in the middle and then with the yellow on top and then just popped on those sunflower embellishments, popped them up onto foam squares just as another idea to celebrate our sunflower. Let's look at some pages. So this one is just a piece of cardstock, that sunflower cardstock. Oh, I forgot I didn't take these out of the I didn't take them out of their sleeves. Okay. So here is the sunflower cardstock. And for for these, when I punched out these orange sunbursts, I tried to do them evenly, and then I punched out additional centers so that, that way um, it would look like a sunflower. Very simple, but look how much room it leaves you to add any of your uh, photographs. Now I used Bright Delight for a few of the pages, um, just for the paper because I was I, I liked the paper. So let me show you this one first. This 
bee happy. You know, I'm crazy for bees and bees and sunflowers. They just definitely go together. Now, because this is summer, I used a white picket fence. When you're doing um, kind of autumnal feeling things, uh, that's what I usually use, like a brown or a black fence. Uh, but you can see just by, by you can use that those oranges and things, which are typically autumn, but because it, um, because you're using other brighter colors, then that makes that work really, really well. Right now, this is using sunflower fields. Um, I particularly liked this sunflower paper, so um, you'll see that I use that. And but I also use some of these other papers because they were just perfect. All right, these are the. This is sticker strip from sunflower uh, sunflower fields, and I had to put strips of paper here to cover up the holes that I had punched from this is zebra stripe on this side. So I put the green paper underneath and that was the perfect place for me to put this sticker strip. And then I have the coordinating embellishment also uh, from, from the sunflower fields, but this is actually from the summer break, but it had that bluish tone. So that's what I used. And over here, what I did was in order to make this look less like a sunshine and more like a, more like a sunflower, um, I did, Put the I cut the sunflower um, mandala sunflower, I mean mandala sunshine. Then I cut a circle. I used the um, the circle cutter and did the red blade. And then I decided to fringe it a little bit so it would look more like little petals. And then this is this uh, this petal. It's called um, petal frame border and and it's a frame and border. But I cut a smaller like four inches and then I just punch that and then offset them a little to make it look more like it was uh, the center of a flower. Again, you use your artistic license. Have a journal box and a couple places for photos. And now this, of course, because it's double-sided, is ready for a, a top-loading pocket. Here's another one from that collection, um, which I just love this paper. Um, so what I did was here, I folded it over. This is the, the sunflower is on the other side. I think you can see that. All right, so I just, I did a two inch, I scored it at two inches, folded it over and added this paper here. I put it on, I did put it on a uh, hot fudge, but I decided I wanted to do the brown shimmer paper. I love this brown shimmer paper. So I put the brown shimmer as the photo mats, and then I cut two of those, um, I mean, I cut one of those in half to make the uh, sunshine. Here's the other one, the other piece of paper. And instead I had folded it on the opposite side. I decided to put uh, three four by four photo mats. Uh, this is a sticker strip. I think it might be from, from the sunflower fields, but when you take it off, it leaves this, oh, this negative space. But I decided to add that here just to add another little more um, interest. And then I cut off what was sticking out over the edge. I, thought, I think this is, yeah, this is one sided. However, for top loading, you've got beautiful sunflower on the other side. Okay, this one, I cut one of those mandala sunshine, I cut it in quarters and I made corner frames and then I just added sticker strips to kind of connect them. Uh, this was the center cut of a frame. Let me show you the frame. Here's the frame. Yeah, yeah so I cut, I cut an inch and a half frame out of this one inch and a half frame here and then this piece that's uh, that's missing from here I put um, on this side to make a, you know, to make two pages with that same theme and you can see that I use that uh, the same colors uh, this was that sunflower the sunflower cardstock and I did a brown of hot fudge and the uh, sunflower cardstock um, and then I added a circle for a foot for a circular photo right here or journal map, but you know, whichever it's going to end up to be, I don't know, but that is ready to go um, with the frame around there. But then that way you can use the other side as well. I mounted it on the sunflower paper. So this uh, yellow comes through in there as well. So there's that one and this one and this, uh, the flip side of this is full sunflowers too. So I am ready for those top loading pockets. Okay, so these were so beautiful the way they were. I didn't want to do much with them. However, I got I got that new um, purple shimmer pen, and I just with all the purples on here, I thought, oh, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So what I did was I I did add a little shimmer to the center of the sunflowers, to these little like purple splots that were on here. I decided to add those on there, and then I went with the lilac shimmer uh, for photo mats. And I'm real happy with this because I wanted to keep this beautiful edging, the beautiful design, but I also wanted to have 
space, you know, to put photos. So that's that. The flip side of these, um, this one is the uh, are other that you can drop in a top loading pocket. Very easy to add uh, embellishments and photo mats. Okay, this one, I did a little bit more with this. So this one, I decided, again, I used the, the this purple shimmer pen, and I added a little more. I added some more uh, to the flower petals here, and of course, the, those little um, paint splots again, and the centers. But then I decided I wanted to do the brown shimmer, and I made one of the uh, Sunshine Mandala cut it in half so that it makes a really nice picture and joins those pages together while you still enjoy this gorgeous uh, design. Thank you, CM artists. They're beautiful. Okay, then the next few pages are kind of a mixture of summer break and sun rays for days. All right, so this, um, what I did was I used just the, the baby blue cardstock that coordinates with summer, with all these summer papers. And I used the cloud punch, the standalone cloud punch on a three inch piece of, of cardstock so that I could make it look like clouds at the top. And here you see, I used that garland banner again. And I really love this because whether you're following the sun as a sunflower or if you are a beach goer or whatever it is, if you just like being out in the sun in the summer, that way you're all set, ready to go. And I have a journal box all set. And here's the flip side of that. So that, if, again, for top-loading pocket, we've got it all going on. Okay, unbelievable. I love this paper pack because I wanted some of the greens and purples. So I decided to use that for some of my base pages. Look how pretty that looks together. So I used, um, this is the... I don't think it's canary. It might be canary cardstock, although it looks rather bright. Oh no, it's solar yellow, which is great for bees and sunflowers. Solar yellow. So I did this again where I used, instead of using another mandala, I used this petal frame, this petal frame, and um, I cut, I did six inch, a six inch square from those and then made the frame. And then uh, I did two frames so that I could offset them put the mandala circle on top, and then I did another one of those fringe, which can be a great journal box or a photograph can go there as well. And I decided to mix it up a bit and do a little oval there, and I'm ready to go. Let's see what's on the flip side, that beautiful purple. Okay. Remember we talked, I talked about these, that I was gonna, that I used these. So here's what I decided to do. Uh, this is, um, um, forest green or a deep sea green I used for the uh, for the base again with the petal to make it look more like leaves there and the three cardstock uh, photo mats but I just took some of these squares and I decided to extend extend that and kind of frame the page so here that's using those squares I'm one of those waste not want not and as long as they're organized I have a whole tackle box full I have all my little squares in here as long as they're organized then I find I can find them easily and I can use them all the time um, this page this is a little busy for me so I would probably mostly cover that up with mats but it is ready for a top loading pocket but there that using those squares that would be waste I did the same kind of a thing here, but on this one, I decided to add a sticker strip to put those um, put the squares on. But I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Again, I did a base yellow, then I did the um, a, a lighter brown, and then I I didn't fringe this. I just made this for a photo mat. You should put a photo slightly smaller than that. Uh, this, this is the custom cutting system circle with the red blade. The smaller it's the smallest circle I believe yeah smaller circle with the red blade the flip side is this pretty green okay on this one again I decided to use my squares but I wanted to mix the large and the uh, smaller ones the smaller ones are from this new mandala the other some of the bigger frame punches but instead of using the mandala because it was a smaller space I used that petal to try to make a kind of a sunflower with my sunburst inside do have a little circle fringe again you have artistic license because you're the creator so you can do whatever you wish use that um that uh, brown shimmer i love that brown shimmer paper and some of my mandalas were cut out of that so that's what i added here very simple but i really like it okay these are just on this is just on cardstock but i wanted to share this too because again i use that beautiful banner 
punch, that new banner punch, um, and I could uh, so that I could spell out my title on there. These are my hmm, uh, artistic licensed sunflowers uh, using different flower punches, the sunburst punches and then the little petal punch, creative memories punch. I use whatever I have and you should, I encourage you to do the same. All right, back to the mandala. This was some, obviously sunflower fields um, embellishments. And again, another stylized sunflower, but to me it's a sunflower. If I say it's a sunflower, it's a sunflower. I did make some little seeds in there with the black pen. This one is not, it's more of a sun than sunflower, but I want to show you because I made it with the with the summer, uh, with the summer break papers and the uh, cardstock. So there it is. I love having it offset and then making a, uh, adding a little photo mat on there. And if you don't want to use it for a photo, it would be a lovely place to do your journaling. This is not a sunflower, but again, this was the summer break. And this this kite paper is very pretty, but it is a little busy for me. So um, I decided to, to, you know, to mat the title and, um, and, then, and just cover up some of that paper, but still be able to enjoy the design. The other side is that lovely gingham. One more, no sunshine on this, but I'm just throwing it in because I have it ready. Um, and this is just for uh, another, another summer page. This is summer break. Now, I didn't tell you about this in my title, but here's what I wanted to say. If you, if you are someone who has old Creative Memories pages, this is what I did because I had already made these designs. This would have ended. Um, this would have ended here. This edging wasn't here because the pages were not true 12 by 12. So what I did was I cut off the jeeping and then I added a strip of cardstock here and then I punched the design just to extend it to make it the 12, to make it 12 by 12. So that's how I did that. So I, because I already had the summer page and I thought I'm not going to waste it. I want to make sure that I can use it. So I just added the grass and the foot and the flip flops and made that one. Uh, this one, I used the same, uh, the same technique. I cut off the jeeping. I added some palm trees. I cut a, two circles. One I put into wedges to make a sun. And then this was one of the summer recipe templates that you can paint with, you can trace and paint with. So I have that one. And last but not least, I have this one. Uh, again, cut off the jeeping, added this edge to take it up to 12 by 12. And uh, this was the uh, recipe template I painted and tra traced. And of course, the beautiful uh, border maker cartridge punch for the ocean on there. But if you have some of those um, older pages, it's a great way that you can use them. And that way the new page protectors fit as well, because I know it's hard sometimes to get all the pages and page protectors be the same size if you are a veteran Creative Memories person and you have lots of those materials. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you got some good ideas. And if you love sunflowers like I do, I do too, just go for it and create some sunflower pages. They do make me smile whenever I see them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the uh, comments below. And I have links there for some of the products I used. If you don't have that mandala circle, maybe one of your friends does, or maybe your advisor might have it because they were special. Um, you had to buy it in, in a bundle to get them. So they're not as available as some others are. The banner punch though, that's still, that garland banner, that's still available. So I put, I put links in there for you. Um, if you want to become a Creative Memories Advisor to help support your hobby, please click on that link below and join my team. I would love to have you join my team. If you have an advisor already, please shop with your advisor. We appreciate your support. But if you don't have one, I would love to do that for you. So take care, please. And until next time, I will see you. Keep scrapbooking.